Imagine with me the manager of the company you work for comes to you and asks you to do a job and tells you, if you manage to get this work done I will give you a reward of $50,000. Of course what will happen is that you will get excited and work hard day and night until you get this work done. Now what will you really feel if you can get this work done and you give it to the manager and you ask for the reward that he promised you and he told you. I was kidding with you I will not give you the reward. The only thing that will come to your mind at that moment. Of course you will get angry or you will hit this manager. This is a real story that happened between two of the most famous scientists. I will tell you this story. Really strange. But before we start, do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Nikola Tesla was a Croatian physicist, inventor and mechanical engineer born in July 1856. His father was just a pastor in an Orthodox church. His goal was to bring his son Nicholas into the church and become a priest, and his mother was a housewife, but she had interests that influenced Nikola as she worked on small household appliances at the time. Some of the anecdotes say that Nikola was born on the night of a thunderstorm that passed through his village, which was under the control of the Austrian Empire at that time. It was a very strong thunderstorm as if it was a sign of something that would happen in Nikola Tesla's life. In 1861 he entered elementary school where he studied German, mathematics and religion. After that the family had to gather and move to live in Gospic. And here Nikola finished the primary school period. Tesla's interests were completely different from what his father wanted, which is to become a priest. Nikola was fond of something called science, especially physics and electricity. Nicholas had four brothers, and in 1863 an incident happened to him that turned his life upside down, so much so that it affected his mental powers, which was the death of his little brother. His brother was 12 years old, and the cause of death was that he fell off horses. Nicola loved his brother so much that this incident continued to follow him his whole life, and the reason is that some historical references say that Nikola Tesla was the cause of his brother's death, because he was the one who poked the horse and jumped and his little brother fell from above him and died. Before he reached the university level, he studied at Real Chelkard State, and when he finished his studies there, he decided to enter the Graz Technical University in Austria, where he studied mathematics and physics, during that period he worked in several jobs to be able to support himself during his studies, while at the University of Graz, he saw a very strange machine, called the Grand Danal. This was the first time he saw it in his life. This machine was its task that it was working was an electric generator, and at the same time it could become an electric motor when reversed. This was the point that motivated him to start ways to take advantage of alternating current, and at that time no one of the scientists was thinking about this idea. In 1881 he traveled to Budapest to work in a telegraph company. Indeed, he was appointed to the position of the main electrical specialist, and while he was practicing his job, he sometimes repaired and made improvements to the devices in the company, and it is even said that he invented a telephone amplifier without obtaining a patent. Even while working at the Lightning Center in Budapest, Tesla began to think about making a diagram for an induction motor, and this is what happened. Tesla was able to invent the first device using alternating current in history. All this period, Nikola was hearing the news of Thomas Edison, and he was hearing about his inventions and achievements, and Thomas Edison was the most famous person in the world working in the field of electricity, so in 1883 he applied to work in a European branch of Edison's company, and a person named Charles Batchelor persuaded him to travel to America and meet with Thomas Edison personally, which actually happened. He immigrated to the United States of America in 1884 and exactly New York, to apply for a job with Thomas Edison, and he actually hired him at the Edison Mechanical Works Company in Manhattan, and worked as an electrical engineer, where he solved all the problems facing electrical appliances intelligently and professionally, to the point that he became aware of all the errors and gaps in Edison's electrical systems, and one day Edison entrusted a task to Tesla, 
which is to redesign one of the generators for direct current. He was it's easy for Nicola, so he told Edison that he could do that, and not only that, he told him that he could redesign all of Edison's generators and make them work very efficiently and economically as well. In that period when he was working under Edison's command, his salary was only $18 and Thomas was known to be an authoritarian and exploitative person of ideas. What happened according to some historical statistics is that Thomas Edison did not accept that one of his employees corrected his work and ideas and criticized them, and he saw that no one could keep up with him in understanding electrical systems, and Tesla said Thomas Edison's response to me, literally I will give you $50,000 if I was able to keep up with me, before Tesla challenged, and actually started working every day late at night where he slept little. After a few months of hard work he was able to accomplish the task, and all Edison's generators and mechanisms became economical and more efficient just as Nikola said. And here Tesla met Edison to show him what he did. And here, he asked for his reward. He told him I did what I told you give me the $50,000 you promised me, and Thomas Edison's response was. <laughs> You serious? Tesla says that Thomas Edison's response literally was, Tesla seems that you do not understand the American sense of humor, and in return for that instead of rewarding him as he promised he gave him a weekly bonus of $10. This is all that this incident did made Nicola resign from Edison. He resigned angry and felt injustice. This painful incident gave him a terrible stimulus. He established his own laboratory and began to work on his own inventions, and here Tesla's fame will begin to shine little by little. He sat in his lab and succeeded in invention of multi-stage motor and generators based on alternating current, as well as transformers for alternating current systems. It did not take long until he got to know George Westinghouse. This person is an American engineer and businessman. He started a great interest in the Tesla alternating current system, George's goal was to find a way to forge America with long-range electric power, so he bought patents from him regarding the invention of a multi-stage motor for a million dollars, according to some sources. In addition to the invention rights, and with the help of Tesla's ideas, Westinghouse Electric became the first company to apply alternating current technology by lighting the Columbian World Exhibition in Chicago in 1893 relying only on alternating currents. It became the first dazzling light show to the public with energy that people thought was only capable of destruction, as Edison said. And he built the Niagara Falls hydroelectric power generator and alternating current systems in the Colorado silver mines, to prove to people that his system, which he called alternating current, is better than Edison's direct system, and here a direct confrontation arose between them, each trying to prove the power and effectiveness of his electrical system, to finally triumph Tesla with his alternating system, it has become certified as an electrical power system worldwide. The star of Tesla began to shine at the beginning of the 20th century to the point where the fame of Tesla became like that of Thomas Edison. He was once just an employee of Edison, and his fame was increasing little by little with each invention he invented. So he invented and developed electrical tools including radio, high-frequency lighting, x-rays, in addition to electrotherapy methods, all of which are based on alternating current and ordinary frequency current. He also developed a global system for broadcasting electrical energy using amplifying transmitters, and he built the first station in the new high electrical system, an input tower to strengthen the transmission in Wardenclyffe. Long Island, in New York City, USA, he was inventing and developing NASDAQ. And the strange thing about Nikola's issue is that he predicted inventions that would come in the future. For example, he predicted the microwave, as well as television, wave interference tools, and beam technologies, and not that only, but many scientists and inventors were relying on Tesla's ideas for their inventions. He also contributed to the development of robotics, radar, computer engineering and science, and Tesla is the godfather of radio. Therefore, in 1943, the Supreme Court of America approved Nikola Tesla's role in the invention of radio. But the person to whom the patent was attributed is the Italian Guglielmo Marconi. The Tesla Foundation estimated that it had registered more than 300 patents in the name of Nikola Tesla, across all countries of the world. 
Among the most famous of these inventions is the amplified transmitter to transmit energy wirelessly, as well as the Tesla turbine, whose engine fuel efficiency reached 90%, and also the induction motor. This motor is the one that is used in the electric machine, and also used in the hair dryer, and the majority of electrical tools still use this engine to this day. And also Tesla invented the first remote-controlled boat, and it had a strong imprint in nuclear physics and theory. Despite all this, many of Nikola Tesla's inventions and ideas were stolen and attributed to other people, just as Edison and the inventor of radio did. In 1916, the Swedish Academy of Sciences decided to award Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison the Nobel Prize for Physics equally, but Tesla refused to share the prize with Edison, and Edison also refused to share the prize with Tesla, and because of this refusal the administration decided to take the prize from them. The last press conference attended by Nikola Tesla was in 1940. After that he no longer appears at all in the media, Tesla lived his last days in a hotel in New York working on new inventions, but his mental health in those days was at the beginning of its collapse, and he lived his last days feeding pigeons and he feels frustrated, and although he is nicknamed the inventor of the 20th century, because of his inventions that facilitated our lives and still facilitate our lives until now, he died poor at the age of 87 years. And of the afterlife things that he said, was this sentence, the world of power is governed by the dynamics of the forest, crows and hyenas are waiting for the prey to come, do not tire themselves too much, do not exert energy, and do not waste time chasing prey, however, they exist and benefit from the fatigue of others, so this is life in part.